Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a digital artist and photographer and welcome to this Photoshop series where we're looking at some Photoshop secrets uh, and tips and techniques that I use in my own work and I wanted to share them with you guys. So for the month of June, every single day in the month, we'll be releasing one of these five minute Photoshop tutorials. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. This one is gonna be focused on how to get the right color when you're changing colors. So I've got this picture of an apple. I've already got the apple color cut out and on its own layer. And I wanna show you how to do a few different colors. So the first one I want to do is black. Changing things to black is a little tricky sometimes. So let me show you how I would do that. First of all, I'm gonna get a black and white uh, adjustment layer here, and I'm going to clip it to my Apple. Control, Alt, and G will clip it. And now we have a monochrome apple. There's absolutely no color value in it as, at all. Now you notice that it looks a little dark. I mean, it looks a little gray, it looks a little pale, and we need to make it a little bit darker. So what I want to do is go to my properties panel on this black and white and just go to my red channel here and just slide this over to the left until it looks right. If you go too far, it's gonna look like that. Uh, so you don't wanna go too far, but maybe something right in there. And now that's a lot more realistic. However, I do not recommend just doing a straight black and white uh, on an object to make it black because that's not how things look in the real world. You're always going to have other uh, colors uh, being reflected from the scene, from the sky, you know, all the light sources that you have. So we need to put a little bit of color into this to make it look more believable. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my black and white adjustment layer, I'm gonna bring the opacity down to about 92, 91, 92%. And then I'm going to do a selective color on top of it. And I'm gonna add some blues that are gonna represent like the blue sky up above or you know some cooler tones. So with my neutrals, I'm just gonna add a little bit of cyans and I'm gonna take out a little bit of yellows and then I can move my magentas as well. Uh, very subtle, I don't want you to go crazy with this. Uh, but the whole point of this is just to um, add a little bit of hue into that apple. You do not want a plain black apple with no color in it at all, because that's not what the real world looks like. Uh, so make sure you uh, are you know, aware of that, what the, the other colors in the scene, and just kind of bring them into that color. All right, so that's black. Let's go ahead and try another color. So I'm gonna use my apple uh, cut out again, and let's try a blue this time. Hue and saturation from my adjustment layer, control alt G, and then you can just take your uh, hue and uh, move it to wherever you want it to go, and that's a good starting point. So let's say we want to make it blue. So just like that, you can slide your, your slider over and you have a blue apple. However, that does not look very natural. It doesn't look like it changed the color. It almost looks like this, this apple is like radioactive. It's like glowing. It's just too vibrant. And so what you want to do in those situations is you want to just bring the saturation down a little bit. So let's bring the saturation all the way down to like, I don't know, like negative uh, 40 or 50 or something like that. And that looks a little bit better, but it looks a little bit washed out. It just looks too pale and uh, not very believable. And so what I'd like to do is get a levels adjustment on top of it. Control Alt and G to clip it to that layer again. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that levels adjustment to a soft light blend mode. And so what that does is uh, it makes it a little bit darker and uh, it gives a little bit more saturation again. So what we need to do is we probably need to go to our levels adjustment and play with these black and white sliders as well. So let's just bring those in like that. And now it looks a lot better. Okay, so that's how I change it to uh, a different color like blue. Just make sure that your um, make sure your vibrance isn't too crazy, or it's just not going to look right. So bring that down to a respectable level. All right, let's do one more color. Let's do white for this last one. So what I want to do is get a black and white adjustment layer right on top of this apple, and uh, I'm going to bring the whites over like this the reds over so it's nice and white. And uh, you see, we have a problem here though. When we start doing that, it gets too light everywhere else on the apple. So what I'm gonna do is make a new uh, layer on top of it and I'm gonna change it to black. And then I'm just gonna paint a little bit down here in this shadow area, the area that got a little bit too bright, change that to overlay. That makes it look a little bit more realistic here. 
And then I'm going to uh, add some colors in here. So do my selective color. And then we can just add a little bit of maybe um, some blue sky again. Just a little bit of blue sky and then go to your black and white adjustment layer and bring that down to like 91, 92%. And so that's gonna make it look a lot more realistic, just having, it's mostly white, but it's gonna have a little bit of color value in that uh, because there are other colors in the scene. But guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and check back again tomorrow for another video of uh, five minute Photoshop secrets. Thanks guys.